A snap election is an election that is called earlier than the one that has been scheduled. Generally, a snap election in a parliamentary system is called to capitalize on an unusual electoral opportunity or to decide a pressing issue under circumstances when an election is not required by law or convention. A snap election differs from a recall election in that it is initiated by politicians rather than voters, and from a by-election in that the winners will serve an entire term as opposed to the remainder of an already established term. Early elections can also be called in certain jurisdictions after a ruling coalition is dissolved. If a replacement coalition cannot be formed within a constitutionally set time limit. Since the power to call snap elections usually lies with the incumbent, they often result in increased majorities for the party already in power provided they have been called at an advantageous time. However, snap elections can also backfire on the incumbent resulting in a decreased majority or in some cases the opposition winning or gaining power. As a result of the latter cases, there have been occasions in which the consequence has been the implementation of fixed-term elections. Generally speaking, the Prime Minister under such systems does not have the legal power to call an election, but rather must request the election be called by the head of state. In most countries, the head of state almost always grants such a request by convention. According to Section 84 of the Constitution of Belize, the National Assembly must be dissolved, five years from the date when the two houses of the former National Assembly first met, unless dissolved sooner by the Governor-General of Belize upon the advice of the Prime Minister. Since Belize gained independence from Great Britain in September 1981, snap elections have been called twice, in 1993 and 2012. In March 2015, Belizean Prime Minister Dean Barrow ruled out the possibility of a snap election later in the year. In the November 2015 general election, Prime Minister Barrow's United Democratic Party increased its majority by 9% as it made Belizean history, forming its third consecutive government. In Canada, snap elections at the federal level are not uncommon. During his 10 years as Prime Minister, Jean Chrétien recommended to the Governor-General to call two snap elections. In 1997 and 2000, winning both times, Wilfred Laurier and John Turner. Meanwhile, both lost their premierships in snap elections they themselves had called. The most notable federal snap election is that of 1958, where Prime Minister John Diefenbaker called an election just nine months after the previous one and transformed his minority government into the largest majority in the history of Canada up to that date. A snap election was also called in the province of Ontario in 1990, three years into Premier David Peterson's term. Peterson was polling at 54 percent, lower than his peak popularity but still well above the opposition party leaders, and expected to be re-elected with comfortable majority. However, the snap election backfired since it was interpreted as a sign of arrogance, with some cynically viewing it as an attempt to win another mandate before an anticipated economic recession. In the biggest upset in Ontario history, the New Democratic Party led by Bob Ray won an unprecedented majority government while Peterson lost his own seat to a rookie NDP candidate. A similar result occurred in Alberta in 2015 when Premier Jim Prentice of the governing Progressive Conservative Party called a snap election. A few months before, 11 MLAs including their leader from the official opposition Wildrose Party had crossed the floor to sit with the government. However, the province was entering an economic recession due to the abrupt fall in oil prices, and Prentice's budget was not well received by either the political left or right. The resulting NDP majority victory unseated 13 cabinet ministers and ended 44 years of progressive conservative government in Alberta. The Constitution of Peru allows for the dissolution of Congress by the President if a vote of no confidence is passed three times by the legislative body, and has four months to call for new parliamentary elections or faces impeachment. The 2020 Peruvian parliamentary election parliamentary election were declared after President Martin Vizcarra dissolved Congress. 
There are three procedures in which elections can be held early in Australia. Examples of early elections in Australia. After Khalida Zia's Bangladesh Nationalist Party five-year term ended in January 1996. The country went to the polls on 15 February 1996. Where elections were boycotted by all major opposition parties including Beamp's arch-rival Sheikh. Hasina Zawami League. The opposition had demanded a neutral caretaker government to oversee the polls. But it was rejected by the incumbent government and the election went on as scheduled. The BNP won by death.